is Fallout 5 in development? When is it coming out and has Starfield delayed it in any way? These are the questions I'm answering in this slightly different video because usually I focus on Starfield guides, but today we are casting our sights on Bethesda's next games. So let's start with the latest news on Fallout 5. Now, Fallout 5 is in development. That has been confirmed by Todd Howard. Here he is at the premiere of the Fallout series I went to last week, check out the shoes. Todd doesn't really talk about Fallout Fallout 5 all that much, uh, literally the last time he gave any sort of concrete update was in late 2021, when he told IGN he had a quote one pager for Fallout 5. If you didn't know, a one pager is basically the general premise of the game laid out on a single page. So that will contain all the basic elements like the setting, potential story and gameplay features. So when is Fallout 5 meant to come out, given all that we know? Well, the bad news is I wouldn't expect it any time before 2030. Yes, six long years away, in the next decade. I know, seems ages away, but if you look at Bethesda's release schedule, it does make logical sense. Howard has confirmed on a few occasions that the next game in the pipeline is Elder Scrolls. He told IGN in 2023, quote, yes, Elder Scrolls 6 is in pre-production, and we're going to be doing Fallout 5 after that, so our slate's pretty full going forward for a while. We have some other projects that we look at from time to time, as as well, end quote. Now, I'll tell you in a bit why there might be hope of playing Fallout 5 much, much sooner. But first, let's look at how many years it typically takes Bethesda to develop its games. Work started on Starfield in late 2015, and it came out in 2023, so its full development cycle was seven years. If we assume Bethesda started development on Fallout 5 in 2021, that would put the launch of Fallout 5 in 2028. However, that's if Bethesda develops the game in-house. It might choose to go a different route entirely and farm the game out to another studio, and that would massively speed up the development time. Now, there are two reasons they might want to do this. Number one, they've done it before, and it was a massive success. That game was Fallout New Vegas, which is one of my favorites in the series, and arguably the best entry in the entire series altogether. It was not developed by Bethesda, but by Obsidian, a completely, completely different studio, and a studio that has now moved on to a series called The Outer Worlds. Having Obsidian develop the game freed up Bethesda to concentrate on other projects projects and ultimately meant Fallout New Vegas was delivered a lot quicker. In fact, it came out in 2010, just two years after Fallout 4. And I know Bethesda had already done the bulk of the work by building the engine first, so Fallout 5 will obviously take a lot longer than two years to make, but still, it will come out way sooner if another studio other than Bethesda makes it, because that studio can focus all of his efforts on that game. Let's say the current industry standard for a massive tempo title is five years, and if Fallout 5 takes five years to make, and work started on it in 2021, as Todd Howard said, Fallout 5 will release in 2026, just two years away, which would be amazing. And that's if another studio, other than Bethesda, develops it. Okay, it does sound unlikely that Bethesda would give its big game away, but Todd Howard has actually commented on this potential situation, saying, quote, we've worked with other people from time to time. I I can't say what's gonna happen if I could wave my hand and have Fallout 5 out, you know I'd like to find a way to accelerate what we do, but I can't really say today or commit to anything." End quote. So basically, Todd did leave the door open for another developer to take the reins of Fallout 5. Personally, while I would love to see another developer try their hand at the game, I don't think it will happen with the next mainline entry. Instead, I think Bethesda are going to get another developer on board with Fallout 5's follow-up, similar to how Fallout New Vegas followed up on Fallout 3. So not a numbered sequel, uh, more of a larger side story or expansion. That's because uh, Fallout, well, it's Bethesda's second biggest franchise behind the Elder Scrolls, and it's not really helping their brand by getting another developer 
to make their own game for them. In actual fact, Fallout might actually be soon becoming the studio's biggest franchise to date, and that's for one reason, the launch of the Fallout show on Prime Video. I've seen the whole thing and it probably took me like a weekend, and I loved every second. It was a massive success critically as well, with a 92% critical score on Rotten Tomatoes, and presumably millions of views given the size of the platform, although the official figures have not come out. Fallout is now very much mainstream after that, and if the show keeps going, it might even eclipse The Elder Scrolls, which hasn't really had a game release since Skyrim in 2011, and no, I'm not counting the MMO. So yeah, my point is Fallout is massive now and synonymous with Bethesda as a studio. That means they'll want to develop the next one themselves, and as a result, development will take absolutely ages. A 2030 release might even be conservative, given the studio not only is committed to bringing out Elder Scrolls 6 next, but because it's also got the next Fallout series to worry about on Prime Video. There is undoubtedly going to be a season 2 and potentially even more stories to be told in that world, so Bethesda is going to be allocating some of its resources away from Fallout 5 and into the show. The producer on the Fallout series, Graham Wagoner, told Total Film in an interview, quote, we feel like we've barely scratched the surface of the Fallout universe. We literally have documents and documents of the stuff that we're eager to dig into. Our fingers are crossed that we're going to get the opportunity to do all that stuff, end quote. So where does Starfield fit into all of this, and how does it affect development of Fallout 5? I think Starfield will have taught uh, Bethesda a few valuable lessons, and this may speed up development time of Fallout. For instance, maybe Bethesda will lessen the scope of Fallout 5. No game really really needs to be as big as Starfield, to be honest, with its uh, 1,000 full-size planets. Maybe Bethesda will make the next game in the Fallout series smaller and denser, and just spend less years developing it. After all, making Starfield so big actually detracted from it after a while, and it kind of hampered exploration because it felt a bit lonely and a bit too expansive at times. Whereas in Fallout or the Elder Scrolls, some exciting landmark or a point of interest is always just a few meters away. As well as that, I think uh, Starfield has shown Bethesda that spending almost a decade making a game doesn't necessarily result in success. According to the website Statista, it was only the 11th best-selling game of 2023, falling behind a bunch of games like Spider-Man 2 and Jedi Survivor that were in development for half that time. Starfield is a great game, don't get me wrong, I love it, but past a certain point, it's just diminishing returns to spend so long making a game. Bethesda will be a aware of that going into Fallout 5 and may even cut the development time in half. Added to that, another reason Fallout 5 won't take as long as Starfield presumably is because it's already an established IP. The Fallout universe already exists, whereas Starfield is a new IP that had to be built from scratch. It's also Bethesda's first big single player game on this generation of consoles, so not only did they have to create the whole Starfield universe and all of its lore, but build an entirely new engine. So those are more reasons I can't see Fallout 5 taking as long as Starfield. And finally, I want to talk about what will be in the game. What's the latest Fallout 5 news? Well, we have an indication over where it will be set, and that location may be New Orleans. That's because in 2016, a trademark application for Fallout New Orleans was spotted online, although there's no indication that's related to Bethesda. It could also just be a cancelled expansion for Fallout 4. But New Orleans would be a great place for a Fallout game. We've already already had Washington, Las Vegas, Boston, and Appalachia, so the game typically isn't married to any particular setting, and it, this New Orleans setting would give Fallout 5 its own distinct vibe. We'd have swamps filled with giant mutated catfish, old ruined plantations to explore, and loads of history in the Deep South. For another indication of what Fallout 5 may contain, we can look to the show itself. Todd Howard told Den of Geek in a recent interview that he's holding back stuff for the game, saying, quote, there were some things where I said, don't do this because we are going to do that in Fallout 5, end quote. From that, you might assume the next Fallout game is going to be similar to the series, and there's a lot of crossover there if they were kind of, you know, trying not to tread on each other's toes. But I kind of take the opposite view from that. I think Fallout 5 will absolutely have nothing to do with the show. And the reason I think that is due to what Todd said immediately next, saying that the next Fallout series is its own thing. It wasn't a translation of an existing Fallout story. He says the Fallout show was, quote, what would the next thing 
long be. It just happens to be a TV show, end quote. So if we think of the show as its own Fallout entry, then we can completely eliminate California as a potential setting for Fallout 5. We can also take a guess at the timeline. So here's the timeline for Fallout, and as we can see, the show is set the farthest in the future in 2296, meaning that the next installment will surely follow this pattern and be set after 2296. What does this mean practically though? Well, it means the game can reference everything that came before. If the game is a sequel, all of the events in the Fallout universe have happened, which is a really exciting thing because it means Fallout 5 will have almost 30 years of lore to link back to. Just think of the Easter eggs. Anyway, that's about all we know on Fallout 5, but let me know your thoughts. Are you excited about it or has Starfield changed your opinions in some way on Bethesda games? Let me know in the comments. As ever, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video and support me over on Patreon if you're feeling generous at patreon.com forward slash gaming with Griff Griffin.